on a mission, and the mission is to collect things for the kids in Micro-G experiment. I have a whole big long list of things that I need to find for them. First up is node one, where we keep a lot of our sort of supplies, general supplies. And it looks like that's the kinds of things that they are looking for for their experiments. First stop, though, is reading directions. Never know what you got to do until you read the directions. So here we go. I've already pulled up the procedure here, and it gives me a list of all the things that I need to collect and also the places that I need to collect them from. So let's start finding stuff. The first thing that they're looking for is salt and pepper. And we keep them right here where we keep our food. And of course, regular salt and pepper are not going to work for us up here in space. So we have to use liquid salt and pepper. And this, it looks kind of ugly, but it tastes pretty good. This is liquid pepper. And liquid salt looks just like water, but it is actually this liquid that when you put just a little bit of it in your food, you taste salt. Okay, so first two things on our list, we've got them. First, we have to find some of the office supplies. And they're in this location here, but I need another CTB or crew transport bag. So this one is not the right one. So this one comes out, but let's see, I don't want it to run away, so I have to tie it down. Sometimes this is just what life is all about on the space station is figuring out which bag it is. And the bag you want is almost always the one that is not on the top. But that's OK. We'll just slide that along. And we'll slide this along. So in some ways, it's easier than down on Earth because everything floats around. In some ways, it's harder. Like that one just floated away. And I probably have to go get him soon. OK. And then, here we go. Here is neither one of those stayed. Now, I'll be able to find them because I'm going to go and just watch where they go. They're basically going to go wherever the airflow takes them. Because even though they're kind of heavy, they still are controlled by really small forces like airflow. OK, so let's carefully open this bag so that everything just doesn't come crashing out. And I think in this bag, we want to find Okay, I want to find pencils, which I've got some of. These are mechanical pencils. It asked for wooden pencils. I'm going to look for those too. Let's see what else I want. Binder clips. Now you can see already what the challenge is going to be. I'm looking through, trying to find the things that I need. I'm also looking to find out what else is available here in case I need something. Okay, rings, rubber bands. Highlighters. I don't see binder clips yet. And you can see that the amount that I have to hold on to is getting to be more and more post-it notes. Nope, those weren't on the list. Let's see, like this and color coding labels. Interesting for some time, but not what I need. More post-it notes. Again, good to know where they are. I'm still getting to know my way around the station. Now let's see, here is colored pencils. I don't quite know what the kids need to do with these, this, uh, these pencils yet, so I don't really know whether these will do. But since they're wooden, I'm going to hold on to those. OK. And meanwhile, I have to actually run and do another task. So I'm going to close this up. Zip it up. Oh my goodness, that could be the trickiest part. Ah, let's see. Go and fetch those ones that are have run away before they run away and we don't find them anymore. I mean, that's the biggest danger up on the space station is to lose stuff. So I'm going to hang this guy right here for right now. There we go. And we'll see if he's going to stay. I've got my pencils. 
and I have to run and get the other um, bags before they get too far away. One of them is already halfway through the lab, and the other one is floating right there by the airlock. Here, I'll show you. See, there's our CTV. So we're cruising through node two. Come to the very forward end of the station. And so sometimes we don't quite make the corner there. We've got one more item to gather and it's in Columbus. This is our European module. And I don't know what they need these for, but we are gonna collect urine sample tubes. Okay, so the stowage note says that these things are in Columbus, C-O-L, aft one, which is the first rack in the aft direction or backwards direction, and in drawer number alpha one. So the first thing I have to do is stow the things already found so I don't lose them, and then we're going to move this over, and it'll probably just sit there right like that. I don't think it's going to go too far because it's on a cord there. And then we open up this locker. And there we go. And aha, right in the front, which is really lucky because you've already seen how often things are not right in the front. So right in the front um, is our tubes that we need. And these are urine collection tubes. So sometimes we're doing a medical experiments where we're trying to understand what's happening to our bodies up here, especially with respect to bone loss and things like that. And so actually what we'll do is when we go to the bathroom, we'll actually collect samples, which is easier to do than you might think. And, uh, and we use these little tubes to do that. So we need five of these things, four, five, okay. And I'll put these back in the locker. Always have to put everything back where you found it or else we'll never find anything again. And we also have to put this guy back. Let's see, right like that, so he sticks, let's see if he's gonna stick. Okay, so I think the scavenger hunt is complete. I've gathered all the materials, some a few extra too, just because sometimes I didn't understand exactly what the kids needed, and so I took you know, some different things in case, uh, in case I was incorrect about what they were looking for. And we have all our materials all in a bag, and pretty soon it'll be time to start the investigations. I can't wait.